Hello family, grace to you. Once again, this is Greg coming to you from faithsmessenger.com. The title of today's message is Coming to God Correctly. Coming to God Correctly. You know, some of you may have been struggling with whether to, whether to give your life over to the Lord or not. Um, I would highly recommend it. I pray for you daily. It's my desire that all would come to know the goodness of God. But our God is a gentleman. He won't force you. He won't manipulate you. The choice to come to God is completely yours. You can go to hell. People go to hell. People go to a Christless eternity every single day. They fail to make that choice. Hopefully you won't be in that same boat. But if you have made the choice to come to God, which I hope and pray that you have. If you've made that choice, there are prerequisites that must be met. You can find those prerequisites in Hebrews 11.6, which tells us that without faith, it's impossible to please Him. For he that comes to God must believe that He is, or that He exists, and that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Now there are several people, or a multitude of people in the church who have a problem with Christians receiving rewards. For the life of me, I don't know why that is, but it's reality, it exists. Believing that our God is a rewarder of those that diligently seek Him is a prerequisite to coming to Him. So I want to ask you, are you coming to God correctly? It's, I don't doubt that you believe that He is or that He exists, because if you didn't believe that He exists, you probably wouldn't be coming to Him in the first place. But if you have a problem with believing that He rewards His people for diligently seeking Him, there might be an issue there that you need to address in your heart. You need to maybe examine that scripture, or you may need to contact me. Maybe I've missed it. I think that verse is pretty straightforward, but I've missed it before, and I'll miss it in the future. And if you feel that I'm missing it this time, I'd love to hear from you. But in my Bible, in my mind, um, I believe at this point in my life that it's a prerequisite that I have to believe that God is a rewarder of those that, that dil diligently seek Him. I seek Him because I love Him, and I am more than willing to accept His rewards. Um, not necessarily because I'm selfish or for my sake, but because I love to give. I am a giver, and if it were not for those rewards, my giving would be quenched, and I don't want that to happen. I want to continuously live a life of giving. So if you are of the persuasion that you're not sure whether God rewards His people or if it's proper for us to receive rewards, I would encourage you to examine your heart, examine the Scripture, uh, get alone with God and pray, spend some time in prayer, and, and, and iron out that situation with Him. Um, once again, you don't have to come to God, but according to uh, Hebrews 11.6, if you've made that decision to come to God, it's imperative that you believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. That is the correct way to come to God. So I want to leave you with that today, and if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, I would encourage you to do so so that you can get notifications when videos such as this one are posted. And if you are a fellow Christian YouTuber, I would encourage you to join our community at micro-ministries.com. That community is designed to give you as much exposure to your YouTube channel as possible. God has given you a word, and that word needs to get to the masses. So in our community, what we do is we uh, lend support, um, encouragement, we do SEO trainings, we do all that we can to help you get as much traffic to your YouTube channel as possible. 
Uh, once again, that address is micro-ministries.com. That is a private community, so you'll need to receive an invitation. To do so, please send me an email message at faithsmessenger at gmail.com, and I'll get that and paste the URL to your YouTube channel in that email message, and I'll get that invitation right over to you. And lastly, I would like to encourage you and invite you to become a blog subscriber. You can do that at faithsmessenger.com. And in that way, you will receive notifications when new blog posts are posted. Now, with all that's been said, I'd like to ask you this question. Uh, now that you know how to come to God correctly, you're going to face challenges. You may face challenges like never before, but I want to encourage you that nothing is impossible with God. In fact, I want you to ask Ask yourself that question, no matter what you're facing, is anything impossible with God? And I can say firsthand, emphatically, the answer to that question is no. Thank you for joining me, and I look forward to talking to you later. Bye-bye.